Hi, I'm Troy Knowles. You know, I recently started using the Traveling Barber. And uh, it's a new concept because, you know, I love going to the barbershop. I think barbershops and churches are two staples in the black community. However, um, I, a lot of times I don't have time to go sit four hours in a barbershop. Or even if I have an appointment, I don't have time to drive to the barbershop, kind of sit and wait, get the uh, cut, then come back. But a traveling barber, that's different. You know, he came into the convenience of my home. You know, he was dressed real nice, had all the same tools. And he cut me and my son right here in my, in my living room. There's nothing like getting a good shave or a good cut with a good line. And uh, I really like that. And I was very impressed with how good he can get the, my hair to look and my son's hair to look right here in my home. In fact, we were playing PlayStation the whole time. You know, a lot of times you go to the barbershop, there's all those other elements, a lot of profanity, um, just a lot of things that you may not want to be around. Also, you know, I don't want to use my whole Saturday sitting in the barbershop waiting to get a haircut. And um, one thing that surprised me was the cost. Um, it didn't cost any more when you factor in the time and gas and, and, and inconvenience than if I just went to the barbershop. So at this point in my life, hanging out with my kids is, is, is important. So spending time with my son is very important. And the barbershop experience was part of that. But we found ourselves kind of trapped and at the whim of the barber, rather than being conveniently at home, not fighting traffic, not sitting in the waiting room. When Harold arrives, very, very professional. He has all of his tools, like in a little briefcase, comes in, asks you what you want, and proceeds to cut it. I mean, a real nice guy, uh, very affordable, and everyone should have the experience of being pampered. I know that, you know, sounds good to be pampered, you know, I'm a grown man, but I'm saying to be pampered in your own home. I mean, I, I just thought it was incredible. You know, I first found out about the traveling barber concept when I was uh, kind of hanging out uh, on the road with uh, some musicians, and they always took a barber on tour. I thought, why would you take a barber on tour? You know, and, uh, but now I know, because when they hit that stage, they want to be fresh. And some of these guys get haircuts every day, or every other day, and they don't want to go and go outside of their routine to go sit in a barbershop or to seek out a barbershop. Harold is a master barber. His skills are on par with anything I've seen. And like I said, me and my son have been going to the barbershop since he had his first haircut and one. I'm telling you, uh, having a good barber around, in fact, one of Harold's things he tells you is you always have two barbers. I know most people are very territorial about who cuts their hair, but he said, hey, you should always have two barbers in case you cannot get to the barbershop. I remember one time I drove into town, I had a very important meeting, and my barber couldn't work me in, so I went and just sat out in the, um, on the bench and ended up not getting that haircut. So, you know, that was something that I would not want to repeat. But if I know, hey, I got an engagement next week, I'm gonna call and book my time with my barber, he's gonna come to my home, he's gonna cut me, I I'm, I'm, I'm all for that.